Pete Seiler. I'm a faculty here in electrical engineering and computer science. I work in the controls area, which many people have encountered in things like a cruise control on a car or an autopilot on an airplane. My specific research thinks about model uncertainty. We build models when we develop these control algorithms. One of the projects that I worked on in the past was to improve the fuel efficiency of aircraft. So the way you can do that is you can make the aircraft lighter, but by doing so, the aircraft gets more flexible and you can use controls to make it appear more stiff than it actually is. That helps make the aircraft more fuel efficient. So another application of control would be something like a hard disk drive, which is used for cloud storage. So on a hard disk drive, you're trying to have a read-write head that's tracking a very fine position. And in doing so, you can store more memory on the hard disk drive. So controls can improve the memory storage in an application like that. So in the past, I've also worked on wind turbines. So a two and a half megawatt utility scale turbine is an enormous size. It has a blades that have a radius of 50 meters. So that's basically half a football field. You can use controls to improve the power efficiency of turbines and therefore make renewable energy a more viable option in the future. So I've been able to teach courses at all different levels, second years all the way up to third and fourth years into graduate school. Sometimes I'm fortunate to see them as they go from a class in their second year all the way up to their senior year, I get to teach them again. And seeing that evolution is really a lot of fun. Last year, I was fortunate to receive the Ada Kapanu Professor of the Year Award, which was very exciting. It's probably one of the most cherished awards that I've received in my entire career. I really enjoy working with the students in the classes that I teach, and so that award is maybe a testament just how much I enjoy that part of my job. There's many challenges in the world today, and engineers are in a position to help solve them by developing new technologies. And I hope they feel that their education at Michigan has prepared them for that challenge.